Hello, this is Jared French, and I want to talk about the contribution of the outrageous idea of Christian scholarship, which is a book title from George Marsden. Marsden's well known for his time as a professor of history at the University of Notre Dame, and he's known for his numerous books on the history of American Protestantism. Uh, let's start by talking about the idea of a Christian. And I want to start from the perspective of, of C.S. Lewis, who was a professor, uh, apologist, and known for his books, Narnia series. He was once asked, will you please say how you would define a practicing Christian? He articulated, if you mean one who practices Christianity in every respect, at every moment of his life, then there's only one on record, that's Christ himself. But in the sense that, they, that there are no practiced Christians, but there are only Christians who are in varying degrees, try to practice it and fail it in varying degrees, and start again. What are they trying to practice? It means that every single act and feeling, every experience, whether pleasant or pleasant, must be referred to at, uh, in connection to God. And it means looking to whatever and saying, how would God wish me to deal with this? That's what Lewis said. And that's, again, getting at Christianity is the Son of God came and lived the perfect life. He died the perfect death to make God known, glorified. That's the idea of a Christian. And so what's the idea of Christian scholarship? Well, it means looking at scholarship, whatever you're studying, and saying, well, how would God wish me to deal with this? Marsden argues that faith, that even in technical discipline, shows up in one, their motivations of the scholar, to the applications, three, it would define the sub-fields for the, the studies, and four, reflecting on the wider implications of scholarship. And so, if that's true, then what's so outrageous about the idea of it? Well, Marsden argues that ac an academic Christian is seen as outrageous because there's a lack of evidence or standards. That's in the realm of, of personal beliefs. You need to have something along the lines of enlightened reasoning. You need to have the authority of science. You need to have naturalism on your side in order to stand on that. And so these outrageous claims, you Christians, need to be silenced. But the irony that, that Marsden points out is the majority of scholarship fails to uphold such standards in their own epistemology whether it be an atheistic Marxist, a Hegel dialectic philosopher, someone from a, a race, religion, gender studies historian, they all contain things that Marsden argues are not, that are not empirical. They, they're downloading reasoning beyond something that's observable, nature, science. And so really the outrageousness is not that it's Christian religion versus silence. It's outrageous that Christian scholars are Christians. But they're not marching in line with the current academic religion is the outrageous part. Now, Marsden acknowledges that the Christians have incorrectly aided this articulation that it's religion versus silence because Christians have been quite combative in the creation science laws department. That's why Marsden himself served as a witness against creation laws in Arkansas. But if we're going to have this conversation, why are Christians being silenced? Why are they being silenced in public spheres like scholarship? If we're going to appreciate Marsden's argument in, in this book, we really have to see that what we're dealing with is a world that is religion versus religion. The public sphere has created a religion that's, that's hostile, intolerant of Christians, possibly because it's in response to the Christian past, they're filling shoes previously occupied by Christians. Now, Jack Lucas in the future history quotes Wendell Berry a number of times. He says, the future may be divided between men who think of themselves as machines and men who think of themselves as creatures. And as I look at Marsden's work, I actually disagree with Lucas's uh, conclusion, application that, because we're past the machine period, right? If you look at gender debates, we're past the machine. The 21st century is going to be defined by religion versus religion. And so uh, Christians really need to elevate their apologetic stance in the public spheres and proclaim the unknown God as knowable in the face of Jesus Christ. So I will talk to you more about Marsden on the discussion boards. See you then. Bye.